Welcome back. It's time to finalize your 4th of July plans this year, and there are several options if you want to watch the fireworks, one of which is the Firecracker Festival in Pflugerville. Joining us today is Pam Cosell with details on the event. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Thank you. Um, so this is right on Lake Pflugerville. It is. Lake Pflugerville is a 180-acre lake that has seven fishing piers, and it's a great place to have a festival all around it. So Yeah, in addition to the fireworks, there are some activities along the shore as well. Yes. It's almost like two events because we have everything that's on the north, on the south for the most part, right. vendors on both sides, right. children's areas on both sides, and then two stages with live bands playing. Yeah, um, back to back. All the time. So uh, we're talking uh, bounce houses and mm -hmm. live music, mm -hmm. um, stuff for the kids out there, and mm -hmm. and there's no parking on site anymore. Right, that's the really important thing this year that we want to get out to the public because we um, have expanded our shuttle bus system, and people can uh, park their cars at Pflugerville High School or Hendrickson High School, hop a bus, and um, carry whatever they want to on the bus as far as umbrellas and beach balls and mm -hmm. their backpacks and and get a free ride. So that's good information because what is okay to bring and what is not okay to bring okay. out there? Um, no glass containers. Okay. No pets. And then they can bring small camping stoves if they want to grill, uh -huh. but the pro it has to be propane, no charcoal, no wood, no gasoline, and the, charcoal, the propane containers can't be any larger than eight ounces. And um, we do have so many vendors on site, though, that there's such a wide selection of food that we would hope that people will shop at the vendors and and that's important to note because uh, this year it's kind of bigger and better I mean that's that's it kind is. of the theme it is and um, this year last year we had bands alternating but now they're every hour on the hour on both stages the north side is sponsored by the Austin Blues Society mm -hmm. which is really kind of nice because next week they start their annual heart of Texas blues challenge mm. and so people can get a preview of that music and then uh, um, on July 7th um, at the brass house they do their annual competitions so. and there's so much uh, development and, and the, yeah. the area around the lake has been yeah. built up so much. Yes, there are. There is a new subdivision going in on the northeast side of the lake mm -hmm. um, over there. And there's uh, the fishing piers and yeah. running trails and. There. Yes. Right along, around the lake. Yes. Um, we have seven fishing piers and people can fish on the 4th of July. Yeah. Um, the events don't start till 3 o'clock and uh, the buses start at noon. So we're going to be doing setup on Thursday, and then that morning the vendors come in from nine to two. Mm -hmm. So that's and, and how about the uh, watercraft rentals stuff on the lake? Yes, Flug Fun will be open. They're giving a five dollar discount per hour. It's usually twenty dollars, but it's fifteen, and people can rent kayaks and small little boats. And they have to be off the lake by eight o'clock though um, before the fireworks show. Mm -hmm. And people, the boat dock will be closed, and so people cannot come with their own boats. Right. But if they have an inflatable blow up type of a little boat and uh -huh. they can carry it on the bus they can bring that and all of it gets started at what time Friday three o'clock okay 3 p.m. till 11 p.m. Come, come anytime with the family and have some fun yeah it, uh, fun with pa a P. Fun. Yes, pa fun. Pa fun. Yes, pa it's fun. the Pflugerville Firecracker this is, Festival uh, this 4th of July. Thank you so much uh -huh. for being Thank here. You. Great to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back.